Hi, my name is Isa, and today I will give you a full walkthrough of the new Princeton Organizer Planner, also known as the PSO. If you've had one of these before, you won't see a big difference from last year's version. However, today I will show you the fully updated Princeton Organizer that has not yet been featured in a video. I'm showing you the rainbow dark version today because I'm absolutely obsessed with this style lately. But please note that there are 10 different color options to choose from, including of course the regular light versions with white boxes so you can write with black ink. And by the way, the rainbow part means that the color of the pages will change throughout the planner. How awesome is that? And another super important thing, when you buy the Princeton Organizer, you will get 18 months of access to the PSO library, where you will be able to download lots of elements and extras to customize a planner, and you'll also find undated pages to potentially extend the life of this dated digital planner. The PSO is absolutely amazing. One of the reasons why, it's because it's actually multiple products in one. And I'll explain more about that in a minute. But first, let me start by showing you the planner part, which is this bar on the right hand side. It's pretty straightforward, you'll see the name of the months and if you tap on them, you'll load each monthly dashboard. On this page, you can keep track of your main goals, special dates, achievements, personal or professional to-do lists, you even have an area to reflect back on the previous month. And in these spaces right here, you can label your sections. I will tell you more about those in a second. But if you look closely, you'll see many other buttons and I will show you exactly what each one of them does. Right under the months, you have these dots. And those are actually the links to each of the weeks of the month. So depending on the month, you'll have a different number of dots, meaning weeks. Let's open one. And this is what the original weekly spread looks like. When ordering this planner, you'll see the option to choose whether to have all months and weeks starting on a Monday, Sunday, or you can have your month start on a Sunday and the weeks on a Monday. This last option is called hybrid. I personally always use Monday start, so of course my week will run from Monday to Sunday. Using the items from the library, you can add times to each day, you can cover any of these boxes with another color, or you can change the whole week style altogether. Here's an example of what you can use these boxes for. You can easily add your own labels by inserting a text box. One thing I really love about this planner is that each week and day will have this mini calendar that is fully linked so you can quickly jump to any other section within the month. So if I tap on a date here, I will go to that day. But before getting into the dailies, let me show you the other buttons we have on the right side here. We already saw the week dots, now let's take a look at the other buttons below. These will open each of the three blank customizable sections that you get per month. You can choose how you want to use these pages. I personally use mine for school, finances, and if I have any upcoming trips, travel planning. These two calendar icons will open each of the monthly calendars. I like to keep one calendar for my personal schedule and I use the second one to keep track of anything that is work related. You can also use one of the calendars to make a photographic recap of the month. These little icons actually indicate which calendar they link to. The first one is a little larger, which means that it is the link for the full page calendar. And the second icon leads to a smaller calendar page that has some space for notes. You'll see this is all the same for all of the months of the year. On this page, you can also label your extra sections. You can do so by adding a text box like this. Then you can copy it and paste it onto the following blank sections to have everything neatly labeled. This is the same little index I showed you on the month dashboard previously. You will be able to switch in between sections by tapping on the dots here. Whenever you tap on a button from the navigation bar, it will highlight as the page opens, so you can always tell exactly where in the planner you are located. This planner is incredibly well linked. So you can also use these buttons on the mini calendars to navigate to the weeks or each of the monthly views. The button at the top left will open the quarter of the year that this month belongs to, and more on that in one second. On the top right corner, you'll find your calendar icon, which opens the yearly calendar, which is, again, fully linked to every month, week or day of the year. This calendar has secret links that will open the corresponding quarter of each month. 
and they're hiding to the left of the month label. When you're in your yearly calendar page, you'll see that these dots appear. And that means that this yearly calendar has two more sections to it. These are two extra pages that you can use along with your yearly calendar. The first page is to reflect back on the previous year and the other one lets you plan ahead for the new year. You can simply swipe back and forth to find these pages or tap on each of the dots. In this planner, you can also plan quarterly. You can access all of the quarters with these buttons here. Once this page opens, you can tap on each of the dates to jump to that day. You can also head back to the yearly calendar by tapping on the year label. The mini calendars that appear here are also fully linked. To finish with the right-hand navigation bar, you have your shortcut buttons at the top. Whenever you tap on each of them, the following actions will occur. Add a new event to calendar. View upcoming events on calendar. Check the current weather conditions. Load the app Stixer. Set a reminder. And open Google Calendar to add a new event. I have another video showing how the shortcuts work in our planners and I will link it below. Now we can move on to the other part of the PSO, which is all these buttons on the left side. The first four are your routine pages. How do you want to log into your day, log out at the end of the day, make sure you're not missing anything important. And you can also create a planning routine here. Next, you have your signature Princeton Organizer dashboard. And it's basically a visual index where all of these boxes link to blank pages for you to add anything you need. The links will be at the bottom of each box. You have your page for quick notes, master list, goals section, which is actually two pages, yearly goals and general goals, vision board pages, and a project management index with space to keep track of up to 12 projects at once. Some can be large projects and you also have room for smaller ones. Next, you have your pending tasks tracker and each of these categories will link to their own page, which you can also access by tapping on these color buttons here. The task detail page is another type of boxed visual index where each box links to a blank page. The links for these are on these info icons. Then we get to my ideas index, which is a similar version of the PSO dashboard. The following section lets you keep track of tasks that you have already done, as well as any important milestones. The shape buttons here link to a blank customizable page each. All these icons are the organizer part of the Princeton Organizer, and it's where you'll find so many different inserts or pages that will help you organize all aspects of life. Each section might contain multiple pages and you can navigate them using these dots like we saw previously. The heart icon is the wellness section. It contains a self-care page, yearly fitness tracker, weekly workouts and sleep tracker, workout planner, and general health tracker. The next section is for hobbies and interests, and you'll find a book tracker, show tracker, movie tracker, and a place to keep info on your hobbies. Next, we move on to the finances section. This includes a yearly finance page, monthly finances, budget, and info on subscriptions and payments. Next, you have your food section with a monthly meal planner, meal ideas, and recipe cards. This next section is about your home. The first page is about home repairs and maintenance, cleaning schedule, and the cluttering planner. Now, here's a shopping section with two shopping lists. Shopping list one, shopping list two, and my wish list. There's the events section, with a calendar to track special events, a gift organizer, and an event planner. These two pages let you save your favorite memories in the form of photos. Next, we have a traveling section with a travel planner, travel itinerary, packing list, and a world map so you can keep track of the places you've visited, like this. 
This text bubble includes a section to follow up with people and contact cards. Then you get to your account section to keep info on any accounts you manage. This is your favorite section. To keep track of favorite parks, restaurants, etc., you can also enter and follow your favorite creators, and there's a place to keep what you're currently doing during the month. The next icon takes us to our repeating tasks organizer and a tracker of the last time we did something. There is also this tracker section with a page for a whole yearly daily log, a habit tracker, year in pixels, and a yearly tracker. The last one of these icons takes you to the blank papers and it includes an all white page, a dotted page, a ruled page, square grid, and an all dark page. If you're unsure where anything is, there is a master index included in this planner. Tap on this icon to open it and here you have buttons to every single page in the PSO. The small phone icon next to some of these buttons tells you that there is a page formatted for the phone for this particular one, and you will learn more about that shortly. This button on the left is the built-in notebook. You have a total of 40 sections, and each of these numbers will open that page. The pages are numbered up here, and if you tap on the number, you'll head back to the notebook index. All the numbers on the left link to solid pages, and the ones on the right take you to clear or transparent pages, which lets you build your own pages from scratch using stickies or by adding inserts from the PSO library. The following icon is a journal or daily entry section, where you have a small section per day of the year to keep notes. This calendar will open each page that contains six days. Use this for meeting notes or to keep a short daily journal. Now I can show you the phone planner, which is linked to this icon right here. When you tap on it, you'll see that the page changes sizes to adapt to your phone's screen. This is particularly useful whenever you're on the go and not carrying your iPad. Once you're inside the phone planner, you'll see some buttons grayed out. These are the buttons that take you to the other phone planner pages. And those are the yearly calendar, that is of course fully linked, Quick note page, master list, pending and all of its categories, the custom shape blank sections, shopping list, and at the bottom here, you have these two pages to organize your day, as well as two more to organize your week, and a section for monthly notes. The page linked to the bottom buttons here are built so that you can easily copy and paste the info from your larger pages. You can switch from iPads to phone pages by tapping twice on any icon that is part of the phone planner. For example, if I am on my phone and I go to my master list page, I can tap on that icon again to load the large version. Same thing, if I head to my shopping list, I can tap on the icon again and open the phone version. As a secret surprise, there are three links hidden at the bottom of any page. These take you to three additional blank customizable sections, and they are here, here, and here. You will see that they are labeled up here. Likewise, tapping on the top middle of the page will take you to your first cover page. The buttons at the top will link to your help section, where you will learn how to install the shortcut and other important tips. There's a direct button to the PSO library, where you'll have to log in using the same email account you used to order the latest Printstick organizer in order to be granted access. This button will open a digital planning video playlist dedicated to the PSO, 
The following icon takes you to the Princeton community, and this last one will open the frequently asked questions at the Princeton website. So that's everything that's included in the new Princeton organizer. As you can see, it's an incredibly complete planner. You can pretty much find pages to organize any aspect of your life. I hope that you enjoyed this walkthrough video. And if you did, please give this video a like so I can know. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, don't forget to do it and tap on that bell so you know when there's a new video out. Thank you so much for making it till the end and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.